you know what really struck me as I read that text? God allowed them to do in three days what they couldn't do in 40 years. Now somebody need to catch that vision. They were wandering around in the wilderness, but God allowed them to do in three days what they could not do in 40 years. Child of God, when you get your act together, and when you learn to lift your hands and praise Him, in spite of your trouble, in spite of your problems, God's going to deliver you from your wilderness. Listen, 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 listen. Some of us, we are in our wilderness and God wants us to cross over to Cana. But we can't cross over because we're not ready. God wants us to get ready. He says, when you become a worshiper, when you become a praiser, when I know that you're going to love me and not the Cana land, when I know that you're going to praise me and not the Cana land, God said, then I'll speak a word. And so I made up in my mind, even when I'm going through my wilderness, I'm going to learn to say hallelujah. Hallelujah. In spite of my troubles and trials, I'm just going to lift my hands and say hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I know it's easy to say hallelujah when you got money in your pocket, but how about when you're broke? Can you still lift your hands and say hallelujah? Hallelujah. It's all right to do it right now. Somebody need to lift their hands and just say, Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Come on. Now tell him, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know, sometimes we get so deep that we can't say thank you. But how many of you are thankful tonight? Thank you, Jesus. God, for every good day and every bad day, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, for being there when no one else were there, I just want to lift my hands and say thank you.
Come on, let's worship the Lord. 